Do you experience a shoulder pain which is so severe that it wakes you up at night or even prevents you from sleeping? What about shoulder pain when you're lifting something, especially when lifting something above your head? Well, then this is the right video for you. So the majority of shoulder pains are caused by either an impingement syndrome, a bursitis or rotator cuff irritation. And the exercises I'm going to demonstrate to you will be beneficial for all of these pathologies. The first three exercises I'm going to demonstrate to you will give you immediate pain relief. Then what I'll do is I'll go through the most common sleeping positions, so on your back, your side and your front. And I will tell you and demonstrate to you how you can make little adaptations so you can have a great night's sleep. And the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate two really good strengthening exercises to you, which will help you to get rid of the pain now, but also help to prevent it in the future. So uh, this video comes with a really handy worksheet exercise sheet. I'll link to that in the comments, so you can click on that and then download it uh, if you need to, so you don't have to come back to the video all the time. Um, if you have a shoulder pain, but you're also struggling with movement, you might experience a frozen shoulder, and this video will be more beneficial to you than the one we're doing now. Um, and if you want to self-diagnose your shoulder pain, so actually see, okay, what's causing the pain, I've also done a video with all self-tests you can do at home. I'll guide you through that, and you can see what's actually, which structure is actually causing your pain. Okay, let's get started. So the first exercise, super simple exercise, all you need is a chair. And what we're trying to do is we're going to try to get a bit more space in your shoulder joint itself. And by giving space, we're reducing the compression you have on those structures that will cause you the shoulder pain. So have a chair and all you do now is hold on to the seat of your chair, keep your arm straight, elbow straight, and lean away from your shoulder. So we're creating a little bit of traction in that shoulder joint. You hold that for about five to 10 seconds and you repeat about five times. Now, if you pull too hard, that's definitely going to hurt. So pull just a little bit, yeah, and hold it to the side here, five to 10 seconds, and repeat about five times. Now, what you can also do is make sure you change your arm position. So I'm now having my hand here to the side, but I can also hold on to the front of my seat and lean back a little bit. That might give you some more relief. Or maybe you want a little more forward on the side here and lean back, or perhaps, in your case, you get more relief if you hold on to the back of your seat and then lean forward. So just play around with this a little bit. You can do this, do this all day long. You won't cause any damage as long as you don't pull too hard. Just give, give a bit of, bit of relief. Um, again, hold it for about 10 seconds and repeat about five times. So the second exercise is a continuation from the first one. So instead of applying traction sitting down, we're now going to apply traction standing up. But the beauty is we can actually make this a bit more intense than the one that we do sitting down. So um, what you do is hold on. You need like a work surface. Hold on to the bottom of the work surface. And all you do now, same as what we did before, is you lean back. So I've got my arm front. Play with the angles a little bit. See what works best for you. So with the front here or the side. And I'm leaning back. But now what we can do is if you think, well, actually, okay, I don't have that much of a benefit from this, just stand on your toes. So you're standing on your toes, and by standing on your toes, you're pulling your arm, obviously, more down. So you're getting even more space in the subacromial space, giving you even more relief. The same thing here, hold for 10 seconds, repeat it five times, and play a little bit with the angle to get yourself the traction in the right angle to give you the most, the most relief. So when you experience shoulder pain, but you can raise your arm above 90 degrees, above the horizontal, without any pain, this is definitely the exercise you need to do next. And we're gonna do a partial hang. So you need to find yourself like a beam, or you can do like a pull-up bar, you can get them off of Amazon, or you can find, I've seen people using a door and placing a towel around the door and hanging off the towel, that's something you can do. Uh, you need to do a partial hang first. What you need to do is make sure your hand palms face away from you, hang on, to the top of the bar and you pass your hang. So you, you still support your body weight with your, with your legs. You hold this for about 10, 15 seconds, you repeat between five and 10 times. And now if that goes well, you can then move on to a full hang. So what you do then, same thing, you hang all the way down and you raise your, um, your feet off the ground and you do go to a full hang and you hold this again for about 10 to 15 seconds and you repeat uh, five to 10 times. Now, I've actually, if you can do this, I've done another video. This hang should be follow up with some strengthening exercises, specific strengthening exercises. Check out this video if you want to see which exercises they are, and they will be really, really beneficial for a shoulder impingement. So a lot of people who experience shoulder pain will have even more pain at night laying 
on that shoulder. So what I'll do is I'll go through the common sleeping positions, laying on your back, your side and your front, and tell you how to adapt it to give you less pain at night in the shoulder so you can have a good night's sleep. So the first position we're going to mention is sleeping on your back. Now, when people are sleeping on your back in itself doesn't give you any shoulder problems at all, but what does give you a problem if you sleep on your back and your arms are stretched up like this, this will definitely give you a problem. So what you need to do is you need to keep the arms down. Now this is difficult. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, initially you're going to keep your arms down and then you wake up obviously at night with your arms over your head again. Don't worry about it. Keep on doing it. Keep on focusing on having your arms down. You're trying to break a habit and when you do it every night I will guarantee you at some stage you'll keep your arms down and have less pain in your shoulder. So the second position we do is sleeping on your side. So when sleeping on your side Many people either, they sleep on the affected shoulder because they can't sleep anywhere else, so this will give you a problem, or they can't sleep on the affected shoulder and the affected shoulder is on top. So the first thing you need to do, if you want to keep sleep with your affected shoulder down, you need to use some pillows. So the first pillow you need is uh, a pillow to place in your back. So you place a pillow in your back, thereby creating a 45 degree angle. So you can actually sleep a little bit on your back, so not on the shoulder, but in a 45 degree angle. So there's less pressure on the shoulder. Then you take another pillow and you place the pillow on top. Yeah, and now you have this pillow here. And this will actually, if now if your pain is in your top arm, you now rest your top arm, have less pain in the shoulder on the top. So now you're laying in a 45 degree angle, less pressure on your affected shoulder if it's the bottom one, and a more relaxed position of your shoulder if it's the top one. So this is the best way to sleep on side position. So sleeping on your front, I mean, first of all, it's something that you should not be doing. Sleeping on your front means your neck twists all the way to the side, all this side, and you tilt backwards, so you get a lot of pressure on your neck. But when you're sleeping on your front, what a lot of people do is they sleep on the front, and then sleep with the arm under the pillow. So have the arm all the way up here. So the first thing you need to try and do is, again, use a pillow, put the pillow, prop it up a bit, put it on the side. So you almost sleep like in a 45 degree angle. So less pressure on your neck, less pressure on the shoulder. Yeah, that's already better, already better for the arm. And instead of having the arm all the way at the top, try to have your arm a little bit more down. So instead of having it here, having it in this position here. And that will definitely reduce pressure on your shoulder as well. Now, don't you worry if you try this and it doesn't immediately work, keep at it. You try to break uh, a habit, you're trying to break a vicious circle. Uh, give yourself about 15 minutes every night to sleep in that new position. If it hasn't worked, go back to your old position because you need a good night's sleep. But if you do it every night for about 15 minutes, I guarantee you at some stage you will then get used to this new position and that will be your position you sleep in. So the next exercise I'm going to demonstrate to you is a brilliant exercise to reduce that pinched nerve feeling in your shoulder. And what it does is we're activating muscles on the back of your shoulder and those muscles pull your upper arm a little bit away from the roof of your shoulder, thereby increasing the space where all those structures sit that give you that pinched feeling in the shoulder. So what you need to do is you need a, a terror band, one, like one I've got here, uh, tied up to a doorknob, in my case to a door handle. Stand upright, that's important. Don't do this exercise slouched. Make sure you stand up, stand upright. Have your thumb pointing towards the ceiling and always make sure your elbow is firmly tucked into your side. And all you do now is you move your arm outwards. You do about 10 to 15 repetitions and you do three sets with a about 30 second break between each set. You should do this exercise daily. So this is the first exercise which helps you immediately with the pain uh, relief, pain reduction, but also helps you to avoid this coming back in the future. So this next exercise, the strengthening exercise, is an absolute beauty and I don't know why you don't see very often on YouTube. It's a really effective exercise to help with the impingement, the pinch feeling in that shoulder. So what you need to do, again, use the same terror band. Uh, I need to face the other way now. You see my thumb is now pointing away from me. I'm now turning my thumb towards me. My arm is in line with my, with my body. Thumb towards me, I make sure I have a straight elbow and all I do now is I pull my arm with a straight elbow backwards and towards the center. So I'm pulling it backwards and towards the center, so towards my buttocks. And by doing this, I'm strengthening a muscle called latissimus dorsi. And this muscle, again, helps to increase the space where the tendons and the nerves sit that give you the pinch feeling in that shoulder. So the same thing, you do 10 repetitions, you do three sets, and you have about a 30 second break between each set, and you can do this exercise daily. 
I hope this video will help you to get a good night sleep again with less interruptions. If you found any value in this video, please don't hesitate and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the box below. If you know someone who's dealing with a shoulder issue, please don't hesitate, press the share button at the bottom and forward this video to them so they can be helped as well. For me, for now, it's to say bye bye, take care of yourself, take care of someone else please as well if you can and uh, bye for now. Bye-bye.